everybody, my name is Chantal, and today I'm trying something a little bit different. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Don't speak like that. <sighs> Do I need my inhaler again? Hello, everybody, my name is Chantal, and today I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. Um, I thought today that I might try vlog in my swan experience. So I've done a few videos recently where I have been filming when I'm sewing. Um, I've made some shorts and a skirt, um, but I've done them like using an app called One Second Every Day. So there's like one seconds chunked together. You know, I enjoy making them. I enjoy having them and looking back at them and being like, oh wow, I made that, that's so cool. Um, I've also done it for holidays, which is really nice, really look forward to like watching those back. But today, I thought I would try vlogging and speaking and being a bit more me on on camera. It's taken me about 20 minutes to actually say this, so vlog, vlog. Um, try something different. It seems fun, so we'll give it a try and see what happens. You hear my boyfriend screaming in the background? He's playing Fall Guys. <laughs> so I am going to be trying to, no scratch that, I'm not going to try, I'm going to do. So I am going to be making a dressing gown. Um, I'm going to be using this pattern, this is McCall's M8056. I have ordered some more fabric and I think I would like quite like to make some pyjamas as well, I've never made my own pyjamas. I just recently bought the Ogden cami top pattern as well and I've heard that's really cool. I was inspired a lot by the Crafter Pinner. She's been making lots of cool like pajamas and stuff and using the Ogden top so I was just like, oh my God, that looks so cool. I wanna make that too. So yeah, but for now I'm gonna make the dressing gown. We're in the middle of summer. Oh my God, it's so hot. The only dressing gowns I have currently are like big fluffy ones. Like like look like at bears, like pom poms on and stuff. And like, it's great for winter, but oh my God, it's too hot right now. So I'd quite like to make something like slinky, light, you know, like just so I can throw over my pajamas and just chill around without sweltering. So yeah, so this pattern looks really cool. I think it's gonna be a, quite a simple make. There's only like 17 steps or something, so it's fairly, fairly straightforward. At least, okay, so I think, I think the pattern is simple, but I think what I'm gonna be doing with the actual sewing might not be so simple. I, um, I've been like sewing for years and years and years and years, um, but, I generally don't wear a lot of the things that I make because I tend to make them out of really cheap fabric. I am a little bit of a cheapskate, anyone will tell you that. And I tend to buy fabric from like, Boys. You probably won't have heard of Boys. Boys is an incredible shop from the Northeast, roughly. And there's actually one close to me. I live in the Midlands at the minute. Um, and the nearest one is still about an hour away. <laughs> um, but oh my God, it's amazing. It's like full of just fabric and there's really cool haberdashery and there's like wool and just like, rows of buttons and it's so good. Um, I haven't found any other big shops like that. Even like Hobbycraft isn't kind of like the same sort of vibe. And Hobbycraft is expensive. So yeah, so because I keep buying cheap fabric, I tend not to wear a lot of things that I make. Um, so I've been trying to push myself out of that um, lately. Uh, I found a really cool website, which I love. And I've bought a few pieces of fabric from so far called Summy Sunshine. So I bought this lovely fabric from them for my dressing gown. This is sandwash satin in the most beautiful pink. It's so, oh my God, it's just got some beautiful drape and it feels so good on the skin. So I think it's gonna be a really cool, you know, a really cool like dressing gown. It's gonna be like nice. It's gonna make me feel like a classy lady, but I think it's slippery, which is where I think, although the pattern may be easy, I might struggle a little bit with the fabric just because I'm not used to working with slippy fabrics. My machine is also older than I am. Um, my sewing machine was a hand-me-down for my mom, so they might be a little bit difficult to work on. And also, on top of the fancy fabric that I want to use, uh, which is beautiful, I also would like to try and add piping around the collar of the dressing gown. And so the pattern does support this, and it tells you how to do it and stuff, but I've never actually made piping before, I've never used it before, so um, that could be really exciting. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But right, let's get started. I am going to trace out my pattern. Let's get started. You a hot dog? You a hot dog? Yeah. Mm. 
be. You know what might be really cool? If I make this into a time lapse. That's UGB. Let's go. So, we've traced out all the pan pieces and we've got them cut out. Now it's the hard bit of polo. Now we have to cut out the fabric. I need to decide as well whether I'm going to use my rotary cutter or my scissors. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to sit? Okay, come on, come on. Sit. Oh, he's such a good boy. <laughs> The pins are making me really nervous. I'm not going to use them. The fabric is really slippery. But every time I put a pin in, everything just slips. So I have a whole ton of metal rings. I know. Tina got these for me from B and Q. Hopefully these will hold it down and I can like cut. Okay, here I go. I'm going to cut it up. Without any pins, only using wets. I've never done this before. Fingers crossed for me. Well, that came out all right, considering that was the first time I've cut anything out like that. Um, a little bit higgledy piggledy, but like that'll get sorted out when I do the seams and stuff. Alexa, turn on kitchen. How are you doing, Apollo? You're helping. It's too hot for you today, isn't it? All right, we're back in my salon room, back in the craft room. This is my crafting setup. I do also have two giant monitors on my desk at the minute because I'm currently working from home and they're not something that I can easily take down and dismantle while I'm trying to sew. And um, so I just, they're just kind of out of the way and I sew in front of them. My sewing machine is incredibly old. It's slightly older than I am. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna test my, my scrap fabric and then I think I'm gonna start on actually doing the piping. So I think that comes first in the instructions. Okay. Okay, so I think I need to use my zipper foot, which, oh my God, I think is this one. Oh my God, you can see how hard this fabric was to cut out. Just, that's not straight. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pipe in, my pipe and fabric, wrap it around and then kind of stitch close to, but not so it's tight around along the seam to hold it in place. Oof. I think I might need some clips actually. All right, that doesn't look too bad. My actual cut now is absolutely atrocious, but it's done. I don't know, I've never made piping before. I'm winging it. You ever read some instructions and think, I wouldn't do it that way. I'm reading these instructions and I'm like, they're all over the place. It's telling me to hem. Step two is to hem. And I'm like, that's not right. The first step is to stitch the front and the back shoulders and the seams together. 
But then step three is to stay stitch the back neck of the robe. And like, that would be so much easier if it wasn't hemmed at that point, or rather if it wasn't this back seam. So I'm gonna go off piste. We don't need these. I'm gonna go renegade. I'm gonna go rogue. I like it. So in renegade, <laughs> I am gonna do things in a different order. Easy. Because the fabric was so slippy, I think um, rather than use pins, I'm going to use my little clips instead, which is exciting. I bought these from Wish and I don't use them nearly enough, so I'm going to. I messed up somewhere when I was cutting out, I think. One side, one of the front sides is longer than the other and I'm missing notches on the back. Yeah, I went wrong somewhere but I don't know where, but it's fine, <laughs> everything fits. I was thinking about putting the pockets on now, but quite frankly because fabric um, I'm finding quite difficult. And I think just because of the way I've been, I've cut out isn't perfect. I don't want to risk putting the pockets on. I think this might be a pocketless dressing gown, which is really upsetting because everyone loves pockets, especially when you sew something like yourself. But I just don't think I can with this fabric. I love overlocked seams so much. It makes everything look so professional. Okay, so I'm reading the instructions again because we're coming to the part where I need to attach the neckband to the actual bodice part of it. Um, and it's not where I expected it to be. I expected the, so we have the neck band that comes around the dressing gown. Um, and that's like the flappy bit, the collar bit. And I expected that that's where the piping would be. But I don't think that's where it is on the instructions. Maybe it's just because I haven't quite done the pattern origami in my head of how this all fits together. But it feels like either this isn't how I expected it or it's going to be some sort of magic that makes it all work. Okay, so I don't know that, but I think the next, the next stage is really confusing on the instructions and I'm not entirely sure what it really means. I can't find any of the blogs or any of the YouTubes who have actually made this dressing gown, so I can't look and see how they've made it and it's a bit disappointing actually the pattern that is on the front of um sorry that the picture that's on the front of the pattern is in like a really really patterned it's like a flowery pattern fabric so i can't actually like physically see what the pattern's doing but i think i need to go back and hem it i think the hemming is integral now to this next step so i will do that um but yeah, it's so confusing. It is getting really late. It is like after midnight. I was hoping to get this finished, but maybe this is a good time to take a break. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, please, no. Not on my fabric. No, no. <laughs> leave, leave. Oh, yes. Yes, you're a good boy. <laughs> no. Hello. I'm trying to sew. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Who's a good boy? Is it you? Look at this handsome dog. Yes. Boop, 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 boop. I love you too. Yes, I do. Okay, can I go back and sew? Whoa, bless you. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Slight distraction from the dog. But... but <laughs> okay, I think... This is wrong. I think I cut out the front wrong. Look at this. Look at this. It's not meant to be like that. I think
think if I cut it in line with this bit, I think it's okay. If not, well, I've done it. It's past midnight, I'm very tired, and mm -hmm. Apollo is going to distract me, so... Decisions are being made. Perfect, no one will ever know. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there for the evening. Um, <laughs> exactly. I just cut off a, a huge chunk of fabric that I'm not sure if I was supposed to. I don't know how to sort this, the rest of this on. <sighs> and it's so hot. I think it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, it's day two. Um, I'm feeling a little bit disheartened, a little bit deflated this morning. Just because I don't think the dressing gown is turning out quite how I expected it to. I think largely because, like I said, I don't have a lot of experience in sewing with this type of fabric and I think I'm struggling with it. I think I've made a couple of mistakes whilst cutting it out, which has affected me when I've been sewing it. But that's okay. This is all, this is all a learning experience, so it's totally fine. So I think today I'm going to figure out what this neckband is doing. I'm going to have another read of the instructions now that I'm more well rested. And hopefully they'll make a little bit more sense this morning. I'm joined today by a very special little helper. Bobbin. So annoying. Okay, the instructions are starting to make more sense to me. I understand now why they did them in that order and why hemming came before doing the neckband and everything. But lessons learned. Anyway, now I need to basically fold under all this horrible janky raw edge and sew like all the way down here. That creates the flappy band where the piping is. It's starting to make sense. <sighs> It'll be done soon. <laughs> Things are not going super well. <laughs> Just discovered I actually accidentally when I went renegade again and overlocked. And you see, I overlocked some terrible stuff that I shouldn't have. So I'm just gonna unpick this little bit now. It's fine. It was more for my own sanity. I am starting to flounder with this project. <laughs> It's really, I'm finding the fabric really tough to work with and I don't think I'm coping with that very well. Um, it's also incredibly hot. Very sweaty right now, but I want to get this done. And further assessment, I'm trying to pin the dressing gown how I think it needs to be pinned. And read reading the instructions and looking at the pictures. I think I need to unpick more. I think I did it wrong. <laughs> Can you hear that? I need to put Taylor Swift on to calm me down. <laughs> so I've finished pinning everything, which I'm pretty sure is how we were meant to do it in the first place. The pattern, however, now calls to say that I should slip stitch, but I'm lazy and I could just machine stitch. I keep doing renegade sewing though, and it's not worked for me so far. Maybe I will slip stitch. I'm gonna hand sew it. <sighs> that took me so long to do. That's not looking too bad. It's the piping's not great, but there we go. All hand sewed on. Yeah, um, it might be salvageable. <laughs> Next on the list, 
It sleeps. The sleeves are on. Almost last thing, not quite the last thing yet, but we've got one more thing left that I'd like to do where it talks about making a thread loop for the belt at the sides so that my belt can sit on there without having to like constantly like so like it so, so it doesn't fall down um i've not done this before though so i'm gonna have to watch some youtube tutorials that's exciting okay let's give that a go now working from the wrong side of your garment and you're going to create a loop Look at that! The bell loops are on! Oh my god, those are really cool! Okay, I've only got one more thing left to do! The most important part. Ah! Ta-da! It's finished! Oh, thank god. Oh my god. You were a nightmare. So yeah, obviously I had some challenges <laughs> with actually making dressing gown. I would not recommend sewing during a heat wave. I think that messed with some of my judgment quite a lot. I kept, I think I jinxed myself. I believe I said the word sewing renegade quite a lot. And it's good to be a rebel and to go off tracks, but not when you're just cutting off fabric willy nilly. <laughs> the fabric is so beautiful and I think it is absolutely perfect for this dressing gown. Couldn't be happy with the fabric. It just feels so good, it's so floaty, I absolutely love the colour of it. It was just a real experience getting there and I think now that I understand the pattern, the pattern is simple, the pattern is easy. You can see why it's done, how, what it's doing. Like for, I was, I wasn't sure why we were hemming to begin with but I can see now that was integral to building the front flap. I'm glad I didn't hem it when it told me to because I, I cut off a giant chunk and I think that was because the fabric was really difficult to cut and I guess I didn't realise just how badly I cut it out in the first place. I think as I was like spreading out the fabric I'm pretty sure I stretched and shifted the fabric. I don't know how to avoid that. Um, I guess that's probably something I can look up on the internet and do some research on. But yeah, it was my first time using this type of fabric. Mistakes wouldn't be made. I don't think I handled it well, but it turned out okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm quite happy with it. The piping looks really quite okay too. <laughs> looks quite okay. Um, but actually, considering it was my first time, I'm quite quite pleased with it. Oh, I think I need to learn in the future that. I need to step back from sewing. I've seen quite a few people actually on Instagram talking about how they set themselves timers. They'll set themselves like they have an hour to sew and it's not rush and try and do as much sewing as you possibly can in that hour. It's a, it's an hour where they can sew and then after that hour take a break. I get very tunnel visioned and focused when I sew. I forget to take breaks, I forget to drink water, I just get stuck in a rut <laughs> and it's not it's not productive and it's not ideal sewing is meant to be fun and enjoyable and I think there were times when I was sewing this I was not having fun I think because I was so stressed out that I'd cut the fabric incorrectly I didn't understand the pattern and I was just so hot I couldn't fun it was too hot to function <laughs> so that's something to bear in mind in the future I guess yeah setting a timer on my phone that's going to be the thing I do in the future that I take away from this project. So I'm, I'm really pleased and I am very proud of myself for making it. And it's something, like I said, one of the things that I find is that I make all of these clothes and garments and stuff, but I never wear them. This is something I will definitely wear. The fabric was the right choice. The pattern is just what I wanted. And I think it's just come out so lovely. And I feel just, just like a classic lady when I wear it. Thank you very much. <laughs> so if you've watched my video, thank you. 
<laughs> it's exciting. It was, a, it was a lot of fun making the dressing gown and filming it. I'm going to enjoy watching this back and seeing my struggles, but also my achievements. I achieved making a dressing gown, so that's pretty cool. It takes so much more effort making a YouTube video than it just just making my one second a day <laughs> little video, little sewing videos. But I think it's worth it. I think it's fun. I'm enjoying myself. This is really awkward. I'm gonna have to get used to this. Talking to a camera? I'm just talking away. And then like there was a neighbour outside and he was like drilling or something and I'm like oh no I have to wait. That'll be in my video. It's all it's all so new and exciting. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, it's raining. It's finally raining. <gasps> Thank you so much for watching this, and I guess I'll see you in the next video.